Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to take you to the Sierra. Let's check in there. Full on blizzard, full closures in a number of places, roads, resorts, 100 mile an hour winds across the ridge tops. And uh, this is Palisades Tahoe. They're reporting six feet of snow so far. So they're working on that, that five to 10 foot uh, grand total range. And it's going to snow like this with high winds into the morning of 3-5, and then it will shut off. But I just wanted to check in with the, the Sierra after everything they've been through there. All right, let's go to Colorado. About a foot of snow so far at uh, snow mass, and there's a second wave of moisture. That's one of the things I'm focusing on in this update, the second wave to hit the Wasatch, the Tetons, and um, the central and northern mountains of Colorado. That's going to happen between now and through the day tomorrow for a lot of these places. So we could add another four to six, three to six inches in um, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, including Aspen Snowmass. So whatever you got now, we'll probably add to that. In fact, here's radar. I want to show it to you. See the blue on radar coming through Idaho? Now that's rolling towards the Tetons. There's also some snow that's beginning to redevelop near the uh, the Wasatch. And that energy will then move into Colorado as well tonight through tomorrow. So we're going to see this, this second wave of potential accumulations. We're talking probably light to moderate accumulations um, in most places. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So I'm looking at that second wave for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Wasatch could see another two to four between now and tomorrow. And then six to eight coming on three seven. Tetons could see uh, six to eight between now and um, throughout the day tomorrow. And then a foot or more coming afternoon of three, five through three, six. So that's a lot to look forward to. I mean, it's like we have another two feet of snow to yet to go in the Tetons. Colorado, another three to eight roughly between now and tomorrow. And then four to eight coming on three, five to three, seven. A little bit of snow each day. 3.5 to 3.7 this year. You're still working on everything there with the blizzard through the morning of 3.5. Northeast rain, 3.5, 3.6, and then snow, potentially moderate to heavy, 3.10, 3.11. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I want to take you back and show you uh, water vapor satellite imagery. So there's our big storm, and everything's just rotating around it. So these areas of energy are rotating through these waves. And that's the next wave that's going to be rotating through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado between now and throughout the day tomorrow. Um, and then behind it, you've got another area of low pressure. That'll be a player in the forecast as that sweeps in and becomes a storm system. Um, 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, and 3, 8. It will come into California, and then it's going to move down through the four corners and potentially some enhanced development across Colorado and northern New Mexico, 3-8-ish in that neighborhood. Um, all right, let me just show you what the jet is going to look like. So that's the jet today by the close of business. Still a very deep trough broad across most of the Intermountain West, including California. And then there's your snow through 3-4, and then we refocus. Here comes the next storm system, the one I drew, coming into California. Now this one will slide out of California and parts of well, parts of Oregon as well, but then it will move into the interior. And there it goes, see it, the big trough. Now that's gonna move through parts of the Four Corners, Colorado, New Mexico, and again, on 3.8, we could see some additional development in Southeast Colorado, enhance some of the snow. I'll show you that on the, the forecast radar next. But then by 3.9, the leftover of that, and then it moves away and dries out. And then the, the pattern will start to shift a little bit in favor of the Northern tier, Pacific Northwest. BC, northern tier of states. That's where the heaviest snow is going to be, 310, 311, and 312. Okay, here's the uh, the forecast uh, radar by 530 today. You can see where all the snow is. Now, by tomorrow morning, there's that uh, there's the, the process of that second wave. So a little bit of snow left over in the Tetons, Wasatch, and you can see it moving through Colorado, almost like a boundary, a wave. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, things start to fade. But here comes another storm system. So this is the one I, I drew, and it's moving into the West Coast, Northern California, Southern Oregon. It's already pushing a frontal, some sort of a boundary with, with moderate to heavy snow through Idaho and right over the top of the Tetons. And then eventually, and you can see it's also pushing some lighter snows through the Wasatch in parts of Colorado. But then it fires up a little bit more. Watch what happens. Snow reemerges on 3-6 as the storm is moving. It's traversing towards the Four Corners 
and then right there. On 3.7, we see more of a moderate snow breaking out over the top of the, uh, the Wasatch, and it's developing in Colorado. Watch what happens on 3.8. Some low, a uh, low begins to develop down in southeast Colorado with some enhancement of the snow, even down at lower, uh, lower elevations. Could see a little bit of snow in Denver on Friday, and then it all begins to move away on Saturday. But watch the pattern. Uh, the shifts to the north, and everything favors at this point 3, 10, 11, 12, the northern tier, Pacific Northwest, and B.C. Okay, let's talk latest numbers. Here's what I got. The latest grand total map, grand totals by late 3, 12, so we have roughly a foot or more yet to go in the Wasatch. Um, two feet to go in the Tetons. And generally, 8 to 16 inches yet to go in Colorado. And that's the product of two different storm systems. Um, still a fair amount of snow yet to go in, in uh, Tahoe, in Shasta. And look at the numbers start to build up there in the Pacific Northwest and B.C. That's going to happen mainly 3, 10, 11, and 12. But that could be some hefty snow during that time period, and Idaho benefits with a foot or more of accumulation. All right, let's do it by time period. So this is uh, the remainder of today through the day tomorrow. Another two to four in the, uh, the Wasatch, another six to eight in the Tetons, and another three to eight in Colorado, mainly central to northern mountains of Colorado. Next time period, three, five through three, seven, the next storm system moves in, and you can see where it really focuses that heavy band of snow over parts of southern Idaho, Sun Valley, Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, the Tetons, and potentially on 3.7 that sinks down and hits the, the Wasatch with 6 to 8 inches. Colorado, another 4 to maybe 3 to 6, 4 to 8 inches on the way during the time period. All right, here's the final phase. So this is 3.8 through 3.12. If that low develops down in southeast Colorado, then you get another shot of enhanced snow, 3.8, 3.9, in Colorado and northern New Mexico. And you can see the potential there. We could add another 4 to 10 inches across uh, a lot of those places. So we'll wait and see if that low develops, if it, in, if it gets the enhancement. But look at the big numbers in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., parts of central to northern Idaho, um, could really benefit from this pattern, 3.10, 3.11, and 3.12. Okay, one last stop, which has been... Fascinating to watch. The Northeast, grand totals by late 312. Now this is, this forecast has really shifted, oscillated in the last uh, 48 hours. We went from big totals to nothing to moderate. Now we're back to big totals. Um, and this would all fall around 310, 311, assuming the temperatures are cold enough and they're marginal uh, as I see them at this point. But we're going to have rain probably 3637, which, you know, isn't great. But then 310, 311, if the storm track holds, we'll see these kinds of totals. All right, guys, we'll end on the uh, the new grand total map for this afternoon. Again, this is all the snow that will accumulate between now and the end of day on 312, and we still have lots of snow to go. And again, we're dealing with that second wave that's going to roll across the Tetons, the Wasatch, and the central to northern mountains of Colorado over the next 36 hours, roughly. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.